Hi everyone. Happy New Year. From You Make Real Estate Construction Services Limited, we wish all our viewers, subscribers, clients, builders, and construction professionals a very successful and productive New Year. Welcome back to our channel where we share real life construction site experience, practical building processes, material quantities, cost breakdowns, and professional tips to help you build right and avoid costly mistakes. In today's video, in today's first construction video of the year, I'll be taking you through the block work construction from decking one to decking two of this our projects. I'll be explaining the step-by-step -step construction process, the type and quantity of materials we used for this project, the cost of these materials and the level, the important quality control checks, common mistakes to avoid on site, and what the next step of this project will be. So, whether you're a builder, a student, a client, or planning to build this year, or even if you've already moved to site, this video will be very helpful. Stay tuned as we take you through the process. Now, before we go about talking about blocks and mortar, let's talk about why this stage is very vital. In building construction, this stage is very important because it connects the lower structure, the walls, and the next decking. So, any mistakes made here don't usually show immediately. But they appear later as cracks, misalignment, or structural weakness. That is why the sequence of work is just as important as the work itself. So do not, do not take anything for granted when it comes to building construction. Each stage is very, very important. Now, we start the block work by First of all, um, forming and taking a clue from what we have from the um, previous floor. So we plumb it up and ensure that the blocks align. At you make real estate construction services limited we have identified that getting the outside walls first makes the work easier and of course it, it makes the internal walls easier to get because once the um all the external walls are square and align it's not easier using measurements to get the internal walls and now see there are two particular drawings that are very important when you're working in the site the most important two drawings are the structural drawing and the architectural drawing the structural to ensure that the integrity of the project holds and the architectural to ensure that the spaces are right and their measurements are right now there are some key things that we focus on when we are doing block work one is proper setting out according to drawing and of course this is making reference to the structural drawing as well as the architectural drawing two is the correct block bonding yes you ensure that the whatever block bonding we're using is consistent throughout the work then the next is the constant checks for level and vertical alignment 
of course you need to confirm that the level of the blocks are seen all through the building and also confirm that vertical alignment is good using the plumb then of course consistent mortar joints you need to ensure that the mortar joints are consistent you don't go about having joints to joint and all so block work is done carefully without rushing because once walls are out of alignment everything above is affected now this is the stage where many sites rush and that is where problems start so if you are doing any uh, block work in your site do not rush in as much as this could move fast always make sure that you check the vital things and ensure that everything is in place raised to the lintel level the next thing is the column and the lintel reinforcement and this involves exposing column positions within the block work fixing reinforcement bars according to the structural design ensuring correct spacing lap lengths and alignment now note that a common mistake people make at this stage is cutting steel sizes or reducing bars to save money Note that these things are calculated before specifications are given. That decision usually shows later as a structural failure. Still may be hidden, but this work is not optional at all. It is very vital to the building construction. Now, these are the materials that we used for this milestone of the project from deck one to deck two for the block work, the columns and lintels. The 16 mm rods were 27 lengths, 12 mm rods were 66 lengths, 8 mm rods was 35 lengths. Then we used 9 inches blocks. 3,200. Then the cement we used for this stage was 110 bags. Then of course there was provision for boards. Um, 100 and 100 boards. That is a 1 by 12 by 12 for the lintel and the column work. Then the sand used here was 30 tons. While we used 15 tons of granite. And of course there were provisions for the electrical pipings as well as the plumbing pipings. Now, here are the quality control points as well as common mistakes we think are, should be taking note of when you are doing uh, block work as well as concrete work. First, um, you have to ensure that walls, block works are aligned before column work comes in. So that is of actually taking care of during setting out ensuring that all the block works align very well with the projecting um column extensions then ensure that they be correct steel are positioned the right way ensure that your steel reinforcement are positioned the right way then of course when the concrete is being is cast ensure that there is proper curing before the removal or particularly of the bottom then 
ensure that there is a neat integration between walls and columns and of course lintels so by the edge where you have your columns ensure that there is correct and neat integration between the different components now there are some common mistakes that needs to be avoided one is rushing your block work because that could lead to a lot of mistakes and uh, mishaps in the site two is cutting steel sizes when a steel size is specified for a particular project please endeavor to use what is specified if there's any reason you think you need to reduce anything consult your structural engineer before you do so the next is um poor concrete mixing now you can actually use the right quantity of uh, different kinds of material for the concrete but if it is not mixed well it will not still give you the required strength so ensure that it is mixed and mixed well then the next is um the lintel that's ignoring curing once you finish your uh, lintel work or the concrete work for the columns allow it to cure and of course water it well ensure that it takes enough water to cure well most of the problems begin with small shortcuts so if you can avoid shortcuts by all means Now, the total cost of all the materials used to achieve this milestone, that is from decking one to decking two, is 6,748,000 naira. And that includes the cost of all the materials we have earlier mentioned. While the total cost of the label, which includes the messing, the iron bender, the carpenter, the concrete work, and not whatnot but excluding the um the engineer's fee is one million five hundred and fifty thousand naira Now, the total cost at this stage, which includes the block work, the material and label, the column iron work and concrete, lintel iron work and concrete, at this point is 8,298,000 naira. Note this, trying to cut cost at this stage usually increases the total project cost later on as you make we believe that construction should be done once and done right if this video was helpful please like subscribe and share it with someone planning to build drop your question in the comments we will respond with practical side answers thank you for being with us this far and see you in the next one